Uh, Julian Mitchell 5. I'm not going to spoil anything, but I got one spoiler about Deadpool 2 related to the X-Force, and I'm really pissed off that I heard that spoiler. Have you not seen the movie yet? And if you didn't, that sucks. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Um, KF is awesome. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Underscore Cool Underscore Beans. Who knew? Who knew indeed? <laughs> Not us. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Deadpool. Mm-hmm. Um, you, I think we talked about this yesterday. No, I think we did talk about we this did. yesterday. Yeah. You liked it better than the first one. I did. Yeah. I don't know. I, I just, I really like the uh, the comedy that they had with it. I mean, the comedy is always good. The sarcasm, the funny moments are always good. But uh, yeah, I liked it better than the first one. I, I just, I enjoyed the movie more. Um I don't know, maybe it was just a matter of because I saw the first one, kind of got used to how the style was going to be. Yeah, no, I thought it was uh, a well-done movie. I really liked uh, the characters in it. Like, I liked Cable, like, a lot. Cable's badass. Yeah, I really liked his character. And, uh, like, there was even, you know, like, as a, as a bad guy, like, he mm-hmm. just, I liked him as a bad guy. I thought, I'm like, yeah, it wasn't yeah. like, I never, you know, how we were talking about in uh, in Black Panther, I couldn't really you know get on the good side of uh killmonger okay yeah you weren't you weren't i a, wasn't like yeah. i couldn't empathize with them like yeah, at okay. that one, one point with with cable i just i always just kind of like i was like i like this guy I like just even when he was yeah. a, a dick a from dick. the back of the like, like, yeah oh. i think with you though this and and this might not be something you would have thought of before you are a father yeah you have a wife yeah you have a daughter yeah and so there's something about Cable that you can relate to way more than myself or Anthony can, which yeah. I think is an act- is a pretty cool paradigm shift just for you as a viewer. Absolutely, yeah. I think uh, I think you hit it right on the head there too. Absolutely, it's just it was it was a different um, villain. You know yeah. that yeah, in terms of like you know how I how I saw him as a character and I, yeah. yeah I really liked him. Well, I mean, and given what care what his story arc was, and I'm not going to say what his story arc is because again, that's a, a spoiler spoil. thing. Yeah. Um, but even then, there's there's something about his thing that even I, who isn't a father, uh, is like I am right with you the whole way. I yeah. I would be on your side the whole time and. Whatever happens, we'll have to try really hard to convince me otherwise. Yeah. I think that was the big thing. Yeah. Um, all right, Vasquez, I'm going to have to stay off this live stream due to not trusting anyone. I don't want to get spoiled. <laughs> oh. That's fair. I don't, um, last time people were really good. Um, we're yeah. going to try to keep it spoiler free, but I totally get you. Va squeeze. squeeze. K.F is awesome. I seriously ran into my room and grabbed the headphones, LOL. And now my brother and sister think I'm the weirdest person alive because I got so excited about the live stream. Thank you. That's good. You You're should get your best. brother and sister on so then everyone can be cool together. Absolutely. Meme bumps. Hello. What is up, meme What's bumps? What's happening? We're talking just spoiler free Deadpool stuff for now. For now. We promise you. Um... What were your thoughts? So, like, I never got a chance. You guys did the review. I haven't we got did. a chance to see it yet. Yep. What were your thoughts on the movie? What did you I really like? Liked it. What did you not like? Um, I really liked it. I thought it was one of the best comedic sequels I've seen in a very, very long time. I agree. The only time I can think back is, like, Police Academy. Yeah. Because each one of those, maybe at the time, I just thought they were funny, really, like, super funny, every yeah. single one. Uh, they obviously didn't get as good. Um Austin Powers was another one where I actually liked the second okay. one better than the first. That is a great one yeah. because I totally forgot about Austin Powers until yeah. you said it. Yes, I think Austin Powers is another one of those anomalies where it is. Even even the third one was good, but I mean the second one was awesome. I think yeah, the second one. Spy who shagged me was great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was the best one. Uh, I thought it was funny. I thought Deadpool was great. Uh, Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool was great. I yep. thought Josh Brolin was great as uh, Cable. Yeah. Um, I loved Domino. Yeah. I thought Domino was absolutely badass. What they did with her and how they showed her ability, kind yeah. of, I thought was really cool. They got really creative with it, and they were allowed to get really creative with it, with I, which I thought was the best part of it. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I like it better than the first one, only because there was so That's much fair. going on in this. The comedy was better. The action was better. It kicks into high gear right away. Yeah. Whereas the first one, I felt because it was a, a smaller story, uh, and it felt more contained and it was a little bit more like focused and it didn't have to play around with so many different, um, not storylines, but to do one thing in this one, you had to do two, three other things. And yeah. and, and everything kind of ended up coming together and it came together well. Yep. But the first one just felt like, boom, we know what we're doing straight through line. That's it. Yeah. You can all like, and, and I can tell where maybe the director previously was wanting to deviate from what they did now. Yeah, that's kind of that would be my only gripe, I guess. Mm-hmm. That and T.J. Miller, 
like the 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 comedic guy, the guy with the glasses. Oh, looked, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I said it in the review. Anthony agreed. He looked like he could not give two shits. Yeah. About being in there, and yeah. again, not really a spoiler. It's kind of more of a subjective thing. Exactly. But it looked like he did not care at all. I I never noticed that until you mentioned it. But you're right. Mm-hmm. I it just kind of was like he was there, and yeah, he didn't look like he cared. And frankly, like. Uh, like I said, I just about him. Uh, yeah, I didn't care about him either. Like uh, yeah, that was my only gripe. The action yeah. was dope though. And oh I, yeah, and I thought it was it was really cool. They had some oh, uh, they had some really cool stuff. The there is there are like two villains in here. Yeah, kind of. And there's one that three is technically three. And I think yeah. depending on who we're talking about, glasses guy. Yeah, he was like inconsequential. Yeah. Like, it was just more so what we were told about him versus what we were actually shown about him. Yeah. And I would have liked a little bit more because I've seen that actor before and he's quite good. And so for him to be in this, it didn't seem like he was in it at all. Although for the time that he was on the screen, I thought he had a pretty good presence in the movie. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. like you said, it wasn't, you know, I would have liked to have seen more for sure. But yeah. I thought for for the amount of time that he was on the movie and what they showed of him. He had a pretty lasting impression on me, at least. Just a, yeah, just a yeah. No, and I think because it was, it was pretty harrowing what his role was and yeah. what the it so everything was circling around, and I think that had a lot to do with it. So I mean, the implications of what he was doing were pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, especially how it was tied into the rest of the movie, um, and then just him as being a menacing presence. But I guess if they did that, then it would take away from. What was actually happening with the story? Yeah. Other than that, it was super badass, um, and yeah, great sequel. And mm-hmm. and this is this is worth them continuing on and doing another one for sure. At least making a Deadpool trilogy. Yeah, I at agree. At the very le- least, and if the Deadpool trilogy ends up being really good, then damn, that's a trifecta. Yeah. And it could go down as a great comedic tr- uh, trilogy. And I'll I'll shed a little tear every time I. Think of a pop tart. Yeah, exactly. Uh, for those of you in the comments, uh, we got a thumbs up from Joyce Zambrano. Uh, anybody in the comments that has seen Deadpool, do not spoil it. Just give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down yeah. if you liked it.